Hello everyone and welcome back to Law Statistics. Today's presentation is based on a very prominent topic that is impeachment of judges. So let's proceed towards the presentation. Procedure for the removal of judges in other countries like USA. The impeachment of federal judges in fact is often an even more murky process than the impeachment of other officials. While Article 2, Section 4 contains some vague guidelines for what warrants impeachment proceedings and this section relates to federal officials in general. Article 3 only explains that judges are supposed to remain in office only while in good behavior. This is an incredibly open-ended standard. Only 15 federal judges have ever been impeached and only 8 have been convicted and been removed. Procedure for the removal of a judge. Before the procedure for removal of a judge was laid down by law, notices of motions for the removal of a judge on the ground of misbehavior or incapacity. A copy was also sent to the Minister of Home Affairs for his comments. The Speaker adopted the procedure in order to resolve the matter without its being raised on the floor of the House. As a result of the adoption of this procedure in such cases, either the judges concerned retire voluntarily or is being removed. In Canada, judges shall hold office during good behaviour but shall be removable by the Governor-General on address of the Senate and House of Commons. This provision is complemented by Judges Act 1985. The Council may recommend removal from office on the following statutory ground, age or infirmity having been guilty of misconducting, have failed in the due execution of the office, have been placed by his or her office. United Kingdom Judges in England and Wales hold office during good behaviour. They are removed from office by Crown on an address presented by both Houses of Parliament. The same removal mechanism applies to members of the UK Supreme Code Constitutional Reform Act, Section 33. If the committee absolves the judge of any misbehaviour or incapacity, the motion pending in the respective House or Houses, as the case may be, will not be proceeded with. If the report of the committee contains a finding that the judge is guilty of any misbehaviour or suffers from any incapacity. At the conclusion of the investigation, the committee will submit its reports to the Speaker as the case may be to the Chairman or where the committee has been constituted jointly to both of them, stating therein its finding on each of the charges separately with such observation on the whole case as it thinks fit. The committee will frame definite charges against judge on the basis of which investigation is proposed to be held. The committee will have the power of a civil court in respect of summoning persons for examination on oath, production of documents, etc. Consequent on the admittance of the motion, the speaker or the chairman or the case may be, be constitutes a committee of three members, one each from among the following. The the Chief Justice, other judges of the Supreme Court, Chief Justice of the High Court, Distinguished Jurist. In case of notices, the motion are given on the same day in both the houses. The committee will be constituted only if the motion has been admitted in both houses and they are opened jointly by the Speaker. The procedure for the investigation and proof of misbehavior of incapacity of a judge and for the presentation of an address to the president has been prescribed by the Judges Act 1968. The Parliament in exercise of power conferred by Clause 5 of Article 124 enacted the Judges Act in 1968. The law was enacted with a view to regulate the procedure for the investigation and proof of the misbehavior or incapacity of a judge of Supreme Court or a High Court and Subordinate Court. The address for the removal of a judge, whether the Supreme Court or a High Court, can be presented to the President only on the ground of proved misbehavior or incapacity. Constitutional provisions for the resignation or removal of a judge. A judge of the Supreme Court or of a High Court may be writing under his hand address to the President resign his office, but 
he cannot be removed from his office except by an order of the president passed after an address by each house of parliament that's all for the presentation thank you and have a